the important thing about today, we're still up. AD line still positive, although the leadership, the recent leadership, a little flatter. So let's take a look at the sectors. Uh, communication services strong with Twitter's up today, Facebook, Netflix doing well. Uh, consumer staples doing well. Conagra had very good numbers. It's pulling up consumer staples. Uh, semis flattish, although Micron, very importantly, good numbers and talked about a bottoming in the memory chip business. Again, we're looking for signs of bottom. That overall is positive. Uh, China ha has had a great month. Uh, emerging markets, weaker dollar, great month. But you see here flattish giving back some of the, the gains there. Uh, December 19th last year, do you remember that day? This was the day the Fed raised interest rates. What was it, the fourth time? And what an ugly day. Look at this. This is December of last year. And here's where they raised the interest rates. And we just sort of cascaded down for the next several days going into, remember, December 24th? Ay, worst December 24th ever. Uh, we bounced a little bit. We were down 11 percent. Uh, by this time, the close of December 19th last year, and of course a very different picture this year. S&P is uh, up one and a half percent here, put up for December here, and of course we're essentially sitting at new highs. Very, very different picture, completely in the opposite direction. Uh, one of the things that's happened that's very noticeable uh, recently uh, has been, let's call it a reflation trade. I don't want to go too far on this, but oil's up 10 percent this month. This is the month. We're, all, we're over $60. Copper's up 5 or 6 percent. Oil and gas exploration production, which was uh, at the bottom uh, for multi-year bottoms, uh, up 14 percent this month. Metals and mining stocks uh, have had a bounce. This is a modest reflation trade. I think that's fair to say. Global markets have looked better as well. Uh, the last couple of days, we have come off 52-week highs, but emerging markets had a great, great uh, month overall. Uh, Europe was at 52-week uh, highs, just off of that slightly. Um, Japan also at 52-week highs, as yields in Japan have essentially moved towards flat, Lining. That's quite a move up, considering they were down in September significantly. Even uh, even the European yields have moved to the upside uh, overall. Here in the United States, sectors here, semiconductors had a good month. Banks, great month, as we've seen yields increase and the yield curve steepen. China, as I mentioned, up 6 percent. And here's the outlier. Industrials down 1 percent. And here's where you got to be very careful about market cap weighted indexes, because the big stuff, when it has sector or, or company specific issues, really smacks around the indexes. Because if you take a look at what happened in the industrials for this month, uh, it's Boeing and FedEx. And if it wasn't for Boeing and FedEx, two companies with very, very company specific issues, as we pointed out time and time again, all the other major global industrials are Stanley Black & Decker, your dear, Illinois Tool works, it's Caterpillar, it doesn't matter. They're all not only up this month, most of them are outperforming the S&P 500. So again, just be very careful when you look at some of these market cap weighted indexes. Overall, been a very, very different December.